Hey everyone, my name is Royce and I'm a second year MD-PhD student at UPenn. Um, so this week I started my surgery clerkship and it, it's been quite a time actually. So I have seen and touched more penises this week than I have my entire life. Which is probably expected. Like, you know, it's like the Tetris effect, you know, you play a lot of Tetris or Candy Crush. And then when you close your eyes to go to sleep, you see like the game and like, you know, you, you imagine that and that's like ingrained in your vision. Well, it's kind of like that but with, you know, penises. Yeah, that's that's definitely, you know, something that's going on in my life right now. The urology team has been cracking a lot of jokes. I don't know why, but I thought the surgeons would be like super professional all the time and, you know, never like smile and never be happy. But um, yeah, there's been a lot more penis jokes than I really expected. And uh, I never thought I'd say this, but I'm really glad that they're talking about the penises in this way. Um, and, and not because of the subject matter, but because of the tone that it's facetious and that people are, you know, enjoying life and, uh, you know, know how to be happy. So I wanted to start the new year with a new series for this channel. This is going to be a weekly reflection for, you know, all my time in clerkships. So for one, this weekly reflection series will be a good incentive for me to make weekly uploads and be more consistent. Not like I need that or anything. Another reason why I want to make this series is that it'll be nice to have some kind of documentation and record of how I am and how I progress through my clerkships and how I can evolve into the cold and callous doctor that I've always wanted to become. And I can look back and see just how naive I was as a second year medical student way back when. So my very first clerkship ever is urology, which is very fitting because uh, Dr. Dom, it's a self-fulfilling prophecy really. So I don't know if I'm, I would actually do urology as my specialty, and I think part of that stems from the fact that my PhD is in uh, neuroengineering, and so there's not much, you know, neuro stuff going on with um, urology besides maybe like, you know, bladder control with the spinal cord. But so far it's been really cool. Um, everyone's been super chill. Um, urologists seem really happy compared to what I thought surgeons would be like. Uh, playful, like they crack jokes that are like, wow, I can't believe you made that kind of a joke. That's really hilarious. And, and I feel, um, you know, I feel like I'm very comfortable in this kind of a setting. I'm definitely not glossed over as a medical student. I'm allowed to do stuff, uh, like actual hands-on stuff. And uh, I'm allowed to partake in conversations and actually crack some of my own jokes. And I feel uh, very comfortable overall with urologists. So who knows, maybe Dr. Dom, that'll be a thing. Definitely, I have been having trouble adjusting to the sleep schedule. Um, basically, we have to be in the hospital at 6 a.m. and we leave around 5 p.m. So yeah, uh, it's pretty pretty crazy to be honest with you. I think the very first night that I slept, I tried to sleep at 10 and I ended up sleeping at like 11.30 and I woke up at like five or so uh, or 5.30. And so yeah, I didn't really get you know my usual you know 16 hours of sleep. I've been adjusting pretty well, I think. And so uh, I've been able to sleep at like 10. Also, it's been hard to take care of myself, especially in the beginning because um, we wouldn't have lunch until like 2 p.m. It's really easy to just forget to eat stuff because you're just constantly following your resident and uh, they're not eating so like why should you and, and when can you get the opportunity to eat and so I don't really get home until like 536 by then I'm also like not really motivated to go to the gym and exercise I have more limited free time now but I'm choosing to spend it with things that I think are valuable for the long term like YouTube videos and also studying for shelf exams another thing is that you know, with preclinical courses, um, I mean, if you're watching this video, you're probably gonna be a student or you have been a student before. Um, you know that like, obviously lectures are busy, but outside of lectures, you can kind of make your own time to enjoy your life and uh, do what you want. But now during these clerkships, it's a totally different story because like, I'm kind of shackled to the hospital. Yeah, that's like kind of a pretty, you know, appropriate metaphor because like my labor is just being exploited and I'm kind of stuck in the hospital for 12 hours a day and I just can't leave. Like physically, I just can't leave. What I liked to do before was I would like, you know, obviously I'd pay attention or try to pay attention to lectures and try not to fall asleep. Um, but then, you know, I wouldn't just go straight to studying. I wouldn't just straight study for like an hour or two hours straight. I would sprinkle in some YouTube videos here and there. But now like without my, you know, requisite like two hours a day on YouTube, um, by the time I get home, I'm like, I don't even know how to function to be honest with you. So I've become more adjusted to having huge blocks of possible time. And then when I come home, I have huge chunks of uh, chilling time and procrastinating time 
and fiance time. Uh, honestly, this is probably the healthier outcome and not sprinkling in procrastinating in YouTube videos throughout my work schedule. Yeah, it's, it's not terrible and I'm definitely getting more adjusted to it. So that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you found it uh, insightful and uh, at least a little bit entertaining. And uh, yeah, see you guys next week.